Next to the note repeat button, you have your full level slash half level button. Press this button to activate full level. When full level is activated, the pads will always trigger their samples at the maximum velocity of 127, no matter how hard or soft you press it. Holding shift and pressing the same button will activate half level. At half level, the pads will always trigger their samples at a half velocity of 64, no matter how hard or soft you press the pad. To the right of the full level button, you have the 16 level button. Press this button to activate 16 level. When activated, the last pad that was hit will temporarily be copied to all 16 pads and a selectable parameter will be fixed at values that increase as the pad number increases. For example, pad 1 will be the minimum value, while pad 16 will be the maximum value. In the window that appears on the display and in the software, use the type selector to choose the parameter that will be applied to your sample. First, I have to choose the sound I want to apply 16 levels to. I think I'll use that kick. Next, I'm going to select 16 levels. And now I have a choice of 16 level velocity, tune, filter, layer, attack, or decay. I'll select tune. So now that kick drum is pitched across all 16 pads with the minimum being here and the maximum pitch being here. I'm going to press the 16 levels button again to deactivate it. To the right of the 16 levels button is the erase button. While a sequence is playing, you can press and hold this button and then press a pad to delete the note event for that pad at the current playback position. This is a quick way to delete note events from your sequence without having to stop playback. Let's look at a quick example. I have a short four bar sequence. And I'm gonna add some hi-hats to that using the note repeat function. So I'm gonna hold down note repeat and put it on 16th. Now, if I want to erase some of those hi-hats at a certain place in the sequence while it was playing back, I'll just start playback, hold down erase, then press the pad with the hi-hat on it, and it's gone. Moving below the display, you will find the shift button. I referenced this button several times already while demonstrating the pad bank buttons, the note repeat slash latch button, and the full level slash half level button. As you know, holding down the shift button allows you access to certain buttons secondary functions. Of course, you can also double press a button to access its secondary functions. And double pressing the shift button reveals all buttons with secondary functions. They flash. Next, we have another button you're already familiar with, the Menu slash Browse button. Press this button to open the Mode menu, and from the display, you can tap an option on the menu screen to enter that mode. Holding Shift and pressing the Menu button gives you access to the browser. You can use the browser to locate and select programs, samples, and sequences on your computer as well as in the current project. Let's load a sample from my desktop. So I'm going to go up here and double tap to access my desktop.
Now that sample was the only file on my desktop, so it was automatically selected. And it played because Audition was on auto. When it's on automatic, whatever is selected will audition so you can hear a sample of it. I'm going to go ahead and load that sample. And from the touch screen, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to this pad right here. The next button is the main slash track button. When you press this button, you enter into the main mode, which is kind of the default mode. As you can see, I'm already in main mode. So I'm going to press menu button and then go back to main mode. And you'll see it enter into main mode in the software and on the display. Holding shift and pressing this button takes you into track view. The next button is pretty self-explanatory. It's the undo slash redo button. Press this button to undo your last action. Hold shift and press this button to redo the last action you undid. The button right next to that is the copy slash delete button. When you want to copy a sample from one pad to another, this is the button you press. So I'm going to press copy. Then from the select field in the display, which is usually selected by default when you enter into copy mode, I'm going to select the pad that I want to copy. So let's say I want to copy. Next, I have to select the two pad graphic and select the destination pad. And then I can select what pad I want to copy to. I can even select multiple pads. And I can select pads in different banks. I'm going to go to bank B and select a few pads here. And now I'm going to tap do it. And now that sample is here. It's also here. And in bank A, I think I copied it here. And there. And there. Now if I hold shift and press this button, I can now delete samples from pads. All I have to do is select the pads that I want to delete the samples from. Those three samples that I just copied. I'll say delete, and just like that, they're gone. Let's go back to the main screen.